Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew, coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. This evening's topic is going to be you blocked the narcissist, then you unblock them. Maybe you block them again and unblock them again. If you like the content, please subscribe and think about that for a minute. Guys, here we go. This is a very serious topic and the whole point of blocking the narcissist is to remove them from your life. So you don't have to read their messages, their texts, receive their phone calls, have no correspondence whatsoever with the narcissist. This is the power that you need to utilize on the path of enlightenment, education, and empowerment. When you block the narcissist, there are many different levels to this and I'm gonna discuss them all for you right now. First of all, when the narcissistic relationship, if it had, has ended recently, most likely you do not, you haven't blocked the narcissist, most likely, but you should. You should consider it strongly. And I understand if the relationship ended recently that maybe you're not that strong yet, maybe you're thinking that things will improve or get better, most likely they won't, I'm just giving you tough love. So blocking and going no contact is the path to healing from a narcissistic relationship. That's number one. But then the number two is this, once you're on your way, once you're on the healing path, you, there will be times when you'll be curious, you'll be thinking, you'll be thinking you're strong enough and you'll be thinking that it's okay, you can unblock them and uh, you'll just take a peek at social media and you'll just see what's going on. Again, this is not suggested. Nothing good will happen from this whatsoever. What will happen is it will most likely set you back in time on the healing path, but people do it because they're human beings and they make mistakes and they think they're strong enough or for whatever reason, they will, people tend to unblock the narcissist at various different points. Again, this is not recommended. It's not suggested at all. We want you healing, moving forward, improving yourself, putting the narcissist in the past. Another way is, let's say this one, this is a classic that many people pay attention and drop comments if this is your situation or if you know about this, is the narcissist will block you and you will say to yourself, wow, the narcissist blocked me. I don't need to block them. They already did the work for me or they, they already blocked me. Nothing could be further from the truth. You see, when the narcissist blocks you, what's happening there? That's right. Number one, they're taking control of the narrative again and they already did that for the relationship, so we don't want that. Number two, you are assuming that the narcissist will maintain them blocking you, which means you're assuming that they're gonna, they're gonna continue to, to have you blocked. They won't. What they will do is during various times of their supply being high or low, or the needing supply, or checking in on you, whatever they're doing, they will unblock you. And this is meant as a mini hoover or a test for you to see if you're strong enough. Please pay attention here. When the narcissist blocks you, let's say they block you first. That's not a bad thing, that's a great thing. What that means is they are putting up a boundary for whatever, and they're saying, hey, you know, I'm gonna block you and that's it. Don't just listen to that and say, okay, that's fine, they blocked me, I'm good. No, you need to block them and block them everywhere. The reason why is this is the exact opposite of the narcissist intention. Number one, it gives you the, the upper hand, it gives you the control and the power. So when the narcissist does unblock you, and believe me, they will, because they want to peek on your social media, you'll, they, will, they will be blocked. And then that immediately sends a message to them, wow, this person's strong, they're smart, they're intelligent, they have boundaries now, they're educated and empowered, I can't mess with them. That's what we want. Don't tempt fate, don't leave them unblocked, and knowing that they blocked you. It doesn't work that way. The whole point is this, when you're in the narcissistic relationship, the narcissist had much of the control. They really did. Now that there is no more narcissistic relationship and you're moving forward and definitely on the healing path, you need to take initiative. You need to get back to being yourself. You need to get your identity back. And the best and the most clearest path to doing this and succeeding is by blocking them everywhere possible. Phone, email, texting, apps, social media, flying monkeys, friends, acquaintances, um, any way possible blocking them is the path but when you block them and unblock them which happens frequently in, in with people maybe the people are curious maybe they think they're strong enough they can handle what they're gonna see let's stop there and pause for a moment if you unblock the narcissist and let's say the narcissist does not have you blocked and you're peeking on their social media what do you think you will see that's right you're gonna see nothing that you want to see but everything the narcissist wants you to see and what that means is maybe you're gonna see them with the new supply. Maybe you're gonna see them in all their fakeness, acting like they're traveling around the world and they have all these great things going on. Whatever you're gonna see, 
It will not be, and I can assure you, and this is tough love, but it's real. It will not be pictures of the two of you walking down the beach holding hands or the two of you sharing candlelight dinner or things like that. You will be nowhere in those pictures. What you will see are things you don't want to see. And remember this, when you see things you don't want to see, you can't unsee them. Play that again. The path to you healing and moving forward and becoming empowered and educated is blocking the narcissist, not looking backwards, not peeking at social media, not looking at your neighbors or friends' apps on the narcissist's social media, doing none of that, not making fake accounts so you can spy on them. We don't do any of that. None of it will benefit you. If you are looking to sincerely heal and move forward and grow and become the best version of yourself possible, blocking the narcissist is the only path to doing this. It, it, it empowers you. It gives you the, the control. It gives you purpose and it lets you know that, yeah, I'm strong enough, I can do this. And please understand what I'm about to tell you. It may be difficult. It may be very difficult to do this. I understand. I get it. But each and every day that you do maintain no contact and blocking the narcissist and do not unblock the narcissist, you're gaining traction. You're gaining power and control and you're getting back to where you want to be, which is the best version of yourself. So if you blocked the narcissist and then you unblock them and then you block them, it's kind of waffling, but that is what tends to happen post-narcissistic relationship because you're curious. And yes, the narcissist will always be curious about your progress, so they will play these games. Bear in mind this, when you're playing the blocking game or unblocking game, and, and I know it's not a game, I'm just using it as an example, the narcissist, this is where they want you. And really think for a moment, does the narcissist love you? Did they love you? Did they care about you? No, no, and no. So when you're doing this blocking, unblocking, blocking, no blocking, the narcissist can see if you're looking at their social media. Believe me, they can. Through fake accounts, through fly monkeys, maybe through their own account, it doesn't really matter. But they can see this. And when they see this, they're getting supply. And when they get supply, who has the upper hand? That's right, the narcissist does. So you may think, okay, I blocked them. It's been a month or two, I'm gonna unblock them. And then, lo and behold, the narcissist notice that you unblock them. You're giving them supply right then and there. You're letting them know that you're still interested and still curious. You're letting them know that you're not strong enough yet. All of these things that I discussed in the channel, these are signals, they're sources of supply you're giving the narcissist. And you may say, well, Andrew, what are you talking about? I just blocked them and unblocked them. It's no harm, no foul. No. When you do this, it's, it does a bunch of different things. One, it lets you know that you're not strong enough yet. And this is real. Number two, the narcissist will find out that you unblock them. And they will say, yep, I still have this one. I'm still going to find a way to worm my back in and destroy them because I didn't finish them off yet. And I will do it. And number three, you're giving them supply. That's what you're doing. Remember, when you go no contact and you block the narcissist, the idea is to move forward, not looking back, living your best life. And that's it. That's what we want to do. And yes, when you're well on your healing path, maybe you can look back and say, yeah, I did it. It's great. I don't even think about the narcissist anymore. I'm at that pinnacle, that mountaintop of indifference. That's where we want you to be. But when you're in the fire or you're dealing with post-narcissistic relationship, or if it just ended, these are all variables to let you know that you have the control, you have the power. The narcissist had the control, the whole relationship. We don't want them having the, the control again. Again, let's say that you unblock them and the narcissist sees that you did this. Who knows what could happen? Because you were out of sight, out of mind. And remember, the narcissist has multiple sources of supply. Maybe you were the grade A, maybe you were married, who knows? But the narcissist isn't just blocking and unblocking you. There, there are many people that they're doing this with, I'm sure. I really am. So you have the control, you have the power. If you block them, then unblock them, we make mistakes, things, I get it. You're curious, you're not sure, maybe you're confused, maybe you're just getting the education, maybe you don't really know what supply is yet. I understand all these things, but for this video on this channel, understand that the blocking and unblocking, it doesn't benefit you. It actually benefits the narcissist, and you're playing in their sandbox. You're not, they're not, you're not doing what you should be doing, which is healing and moving forward. Yes, you will be curious. Yes, you will be tempted. Yes, there will be moments of weakness. Yes, you'll be wondering. Yes, you'll be ruminating. All of these things early on in the relationship, I understand, and maybe some post relationship, maybe way down the line you'll be thinking about some of these things every now and again too. I get it. But maintain no contact. Maintain blocking them. Continue to move forward. Continue to do the best you possibly can for yourself. If that door is open even a crack and the narcissist senses this or sees it or discovers it, 
they will find a way to wedge that crack open a lot bigger and they'll find a way to try and worm their way back into you being a vital source of supply. We don't want that. We've already endured the narcissistic relationship. We already know how devastating and cruel and manipulating it was and it took us to the depths of hell to crawl our way out of. Why would we reopen that door again? Why would we want to experience anything of that kind of relationship? We wouldn't. So maintaining no contact and blocking them and not unblocking them is the path. For this video, before I close it, I'm suggesting if you're doing this, meaning you're blocking and unblocking, make a decision, stand firm, do the right thing, maintain your boundaries and continue to move forward and block them everywhere possible. Because many times in the channel I hear things like, oh, I block them here and here, but this one's okay. It, it, they never use that source of social media or they never communicate that way. Nonsense, guys. When their supply is running low or they're thinking about you or they're trying to get back with you or they want to contact you for whatever reason, maybe it's just to get to, maybe they just want to contact you to get supply. Maybe they don't want to get back, but they just want to see if, if you're around and you make yourself accessible or available, it doesn't benefit you. It doesn't do anything other than give them supply for a longer period of time and it sets you backwards. And you may say, well, Andrew, it sounds like there are a lot of advantages for the narcissist here. You know what? There are a lot of advantages to the narcissist until you get the education and now you have it. So it's now advantage you. Go, go no contact, blocking them. Don't tempt fate, don't unblock them. Maintain your boundaries and keep on moving forward. Guys, you have this. You're empowered, you're enlightened. Continue on the path, continue to do the best you possibly can. I love you guys. God bless you from beautiful Costa Rica. This is Andrew. Namaste. Have a great evening. I'll talk to you later. Remember, if you blocked and unblocked, it happens. I get it. But once you actually are committed and you're actually resolute and you understand that blocking is the path, do it. Put your foot down. Move forward. Don't even consider unblocking. Guys, God bless you. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Good night.